Hey guys, what is up? Redpan Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I have a fun one for you. I'm going to be basically going through my Amazon affiliate since January 1st of 2021 up until now. As of recording, it's uh, April 22nd. Okay, so we're just going to go through, just see, you know, how much people have ordered and uh, see how much, you know, GPUs in terms of their original MSRP or over MSRP that some people have paid. And uh, there's a lot of stuff here that you guys have, have ordered and it's it's way more over than MSRP. And there are some Amazon sellers that, that definitely, you know, change up the prices. And as you guys know, as of recently, buying GPUs and graphic cards and other hardware has been really expensive lately. But I just wanted to make this video not to like publicly shame anybody as we, we don't know who ordered this, but we can see exactly how much people have paid in terms of uh, the items ordered and then the total revenue of that okay that amazon gets all right so if you're seeing this number here this 1.2 million just don't freak out this is something that i don't get all right i only get like a small fraction of this okay and just to really clarify this is my amazon affiliate that when you guys click on my links in the description that go to the Amazon product, okay? Like for example, will this exhaust fan fit in the barn? And it's an exhaust fan, that link goes to amazon.com. And if you guys order anything uh, within the next 24 hours, I just get a little commission out of it. And it helps me, helps out the channel, helps whatever projects that I have. So I really appreciate that. I really appreciate you all for doing that. If you're clicking on my links, all that good stuff. Okay, but anyways guys, let's, let's have some fun here. Let's just go through. I have the calculator here. I got eBay. We're gonna do some just correlation here, you know, just see what the price of certain things are going right now okay so first thing that pops my eye right away is uh, the highest thing uh, in terms of revenue is this twenty eight thousand dollars and there is a RTX 3090 for the win 3 and somebody ordered 12 of them potentially somebody I'm not sure if it could be one person or multiple people but we're just gonna do just a theoretical thing here so we're gonna take 28 one four six divided by 12 Okay, so that is $2,345.50 USD. Okay, so actually, in my mind right now, I think that's not too bad for the RTX 3090 for the Win 3. I know that I think MSRP is supposed to be like 15 or 14.99 when these cards first came out. So, so it is it is quite a bit more, but let's just go to amazon.com here. Let's do uh, RTX 3090 for the Win 3 and just see generally what they're going for now. Okay, yeah, so 2900, 3200 70 what that's 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 way too crazy let's just do uh recently sold and we can see here all right so people have recently april 22nd have been buying for the win three 3090s for 3200 3000 just just insane just insane numbers okay so people who have bought or were able to uh catch the amazon one here all right 12 of them for 2300 is it's pretty good. Okay, so actually, no, that that's actually pretty good. Okay, I thought uh, I thought this was gonna be like way more than that, but maybe people who ordered this happened a lot earlier than when the hype came up in January. Potentially, you know, I know as of February and then March, the prices of GPUs started going way up. Okay, I, I remember like yeah, like what we're seeing right now. So correlating to that. Okay, moving along. Let's go to the next GPU here. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of power supplies. Uh, Asrock H110. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's, that's, I feel like that's really expensive. Anyways, going down the list here, guys, let's go to, what's this one? Sapphire, Radeon, uh, 5600 XT. Okay, 18 of them ordered. Total about 14,899. Okay, so let's put in 14,899 divided by 18. And we will get an average. Oh, man. Okay, a 5600 XT. These are the Sapphire Radeon Pulse Edition BE versions, the 6 gigabyte models. Each of them, average, looks like people bought them for about $827. Oh, I remember when these were like $300 or like $260 a year ago. So that is definitely way, way, way over uh, of uh, MSRP of what uh, these are supposed to go for. So let's just let's just go to uh, eBay, Sapphire, 5600 XTBE. And we can see here, yeah, they're going for 715, 690, recently sold, 600, 670. Okay, so it looks like eBay, it's a, it's definitely a, maybe a couple hundred dollars lower than what people have bought them on Amazon for. Oh my goodness, that's 
that is crazy okay that that that's a that's a shameful one right here okay so there you go that's our first one <laughs> uh this whoever bought this that was way too much way too much okay going along going along let's see here we got uh zotac 1660 supers okay so let's go to the calculator here let's do uh 14 6 11 divided by 23 okay they ordered 23 of these Okay. Oh man. All right. Average price of a 1660 super from Zotac, $635 and 26 cents. That is, oh man, that is crazy. Okay. I'm probably going to be saying that all the time, every single GPU that we're going to come across here, but guys, it just gives you perspective of, of wow, the FOMO into buying graphic cards way over MSRP is just nuts. It's, it's, it's just nuts. It's insane. Okay. Going along guys, let's keep going here. Uh, let's see, MSI RTX 3080, 10 gigabyte. Okay, uh, so 13, all right, let's do a new calculation here. 13, 479 divided by uh, 10. Okay, so, wow, someone scored it pretty good. I think someone scored this earlier in January, by the looks of it, $1,347. And uh, so MSI RTX 3080s, uh, RTX 3080, they're definitely going for a lot more than 13. Okay, so 2100 2200 2300 2000 yeah so definitely whoever ordered that was probably back in uh back in january yeah most likely okay well that that's a good one whoever did that you you definitely made it out really well okay going down the list guys let's see here we have a uh 5600 ko or oc okay this is the asrock uh, 5600s all right so let's do this calculation 13 399 divided by 16 and we are going to get 837 dollars each oh my god that is oh that hurts that that hurts that definitely hurts i i mean like yeah i think this is this this may be re really recent because yeah that that number is way too high for 5600 xts guys okay anyways going along red devil power color red devil 5700 xts oh Someone was able to get 16 of these at the same... Wow, lesser than buying the 5600s. Okay, hold on. 13207 divided by 16. Oh, 825. I mean, definitely better than the 5600 buyer here. And this this guy bought ASRock ones, which is even worse because these ones are apparently pretty bad <laughs> because of thermals and the cooler and stuff. But wow i think uh this is these are probably pretty recent maybe this 5700 red devil one was maybe back in january or february as prices started going up so 5700s i think on amazon go for a lot more than that now okay so anyways that's pretty cool okay going down the list guys wow this is nuts this is just mind-blowing to me i mean it's not mind-blowing but it, it's just interesting to see what what people have ordered what you guys have ordered on amazon and it's it's just it's just cool to see this let, let me know what you guys think anyways I, I just gotta do a few more here i don't want this video to be too long but i just want this video to give you guys perspective of uh what what people have paid all right this the the fomoing in into crypto mining for these past couple months okay now let's do uh, another one here guys uh, i see a msi 1660 supers okay uh let's see here 14 of them are ordered and okay so let's do 10,510 divided by uh 14 of them were ordered so oh, average price 750 dollars Ah oh, man, I remember these being like two hundred and twenty dollars last year. The sixteen sixty supers were way cheaper back then. They man, people like you guys bought this like three times, four times more than what they're worth. Oh my god, that's just crazy. All right, going down the list, guys. Going down the list. I think I see something pretty crazy here. We have uh, Asus Tough RTX thirty seventies, eight ninety nine, nine thousand dollars. All right, so nine thousand dollars divided by six of them. Oh no. Oh, okay. Somebody bought six RTX 3070s at 1500 dollars a piece on Amazon. So let's go to RTX 3070. And uh okay, well, definitely I would say a lot maybe a hundred bucks less than what what eBay is going for. Okay, maybe more, if not more. So wow, somebody definitely really wanted these GPUs. These are the uh, Asus Tough 3070s. So, wow, nine grand. Someone paid nine grand for six of them. <laughs> that is probably, I would say, probably recent uh, during the last couple months. Yeah, for sure. 
Okay, guys, let's let's do uh, let's do one more here. Let's do one more. Okay, all right. I see an uh, Asus Tough RTX 3090s bought for about eighty six hundred dollars. Three of them. Okay, I don't even I don't think I need the calculator. Oh no, I do need the calculator for this one. Okay, eighty six hundred dollars divided by three. Twenty eight hundred dollars. Two thousand eight hundred sixty six dollars for each Asus Tough. Yeah. That that one hurts. That definitely hurts. I mean, I think 3090s go for a little bit more than that right now. Uh, Asus Tough 3090. Um, let's see here. Pre 2900, 3000, 3100. Okay, so maybe he didn't do too bad, but still, I that's way, 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 way over MSRP, which is which is just crazy in my opinion. And I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of dislikes from people who order GPUs that cost way more than that. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I, this is the reality of. <laughs> of crypto mining right now people are fomoing in and i've said it before guys please do not buy graphic cards over like this these insane msrp prices and the sellers on ebay like they are not like stores or anything these are some some of them are scalpers that have stores on amazon and they're just flipping them for a lot more than what they're worth okay so ex great example is this one right here the six rtx 3070s for nine grand like msi or asus their like a regular store their regular seller wouldn't do that okay it's it would be a custom store for sure anyways guys let me know your thoughts this is pretty interesting i hope you guys found it pretty uh, entertaining as well just just let me know uh, what you guys think and if you've ordered gpus over msrp and let me know your story and a lot of people love to read it okay my friends thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out